Okay, I'm sitting here checking out my man, uh, this preacher, then went off at a little town hall meeting. Let's see what they're talking about. I heard about it. Let's see. Today, we had a historical thing to happen in the city of Birmingham. They call it historical, you know, made history and all that kind of stuff. But I'm here this morning to talk about another history. To me, yesterday was one of the most bizarre scenes I ever seen in this city. What you see? One of the most comedic scenes I ever witnessed in public. What you see? When I witnessed men with size 13, 14 shoes out there kissing each other in the mouth in front of little kids. Hold up. Hold up. Let me bring it back and make sure I heard it right. Witness men with size 13, 14 shoes out there kissing each other. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know gay men came that big. I didn't even, I've never seen a man that big who are the size 13 to 14 uh, that's gay. Usually gay men are small and feet are small. I'm not stereotyping, but that's usually what the genre uh, hope. Wow. Let's see what else he got to say. It was just bizarre. It was like a freak scene going on. Hmm. That's what I call it. Now, I know about the government and law, but I got a law this morning what you that got? came out of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 31. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31. Let me get my Bible. Let me see if he quoted it right. And it says, shall a man leave his mother and father mm -hmm. and join to his wife? Okay. And they shall become one. And to have your kids out there yesterday, six, seven years old, holding flags. The Bible said, provoke not your children. Hold on. Provoke not your children. Provoke not your children. Hold on, make sure I heard it right. The Bible said, provoke not your children. Provoke not your children. That ain't what it say. That ain't what it say at all. It said provoke. No. Okay, I get it. Whatever. But it don't say it don't say cheer. Go ahead, Pastor. I want to talk about my right. Talk about it. I got a right too. Talk I about can it. Balance that praise the Lord in public now. You can't I say might it. go to jail. I might threaten the law. Yeah, you get them cuffs. Yeah. You can't have a tell a person to have a blessed day. You can't do it. it. Say, in two more years, in 2016, mm -hmm. February the night. Keep that in mind. 2016, February 9th. There's some real shocking shit about to come, and I can already feel it. You're going to be able to marry your dog. You're going to be able to marry your cat. You're going to be able to marry your snake. You're going to be able to marry your rat. Your roaches. Some of y'all been with the roaches so long, you might well go on marry them. Okay. Uh, wow. Wow. Come on, man. Give me some more information. You're going to be able to marry your broom, your mop. Ain't we going You can marry household shit that's just been here all along. And I could have been married to the shit and I'm sitting here just taking it for granted thinking I can just use it one way. Brother Deep, man, give me some more, bro. Praise in this world, y'all. I know Alabama made a lot of money. Y'all say I know somebody else made a lot of money. Who? Duracell ain't got no batteries on the shelf. All the batteries gone. I tried to find a battery for my radio this morning. Couldn't find them nowhere. I said, what out? They said, Rev, they bought all the batteries last night. Can somebody, I mean anybody, reach out to me. Let me know what's going on in Alabama where there's a shortage of batteries. Help me out. I'm lost. Feel me in.